Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire, and this week I have another art project for you. Today we're going to make a mixed media journal, a small little handmade book that you can take with you on the go so that you can be creative in small spaces. So if you've got a few minutes, let's go check it out. Welcome back. So today I am creating a watercolor uh, mixed media handmade book or journal. Um, and I'm using Joggle's watercolor tags. This is the uh, largest watercolor tag that they make, and it is a number 12 tag. So that's what I'm gonna use for the pages of this book. I'm using these uh, tags because they're very sturdy paper, and they're really a uh, good surface to handle water media, dry drawing, uh, gold foil, um, blendable pencils, you name it. These are gonna be, make a great mixed media book due to the uh, really good, solid, um, rigid quality and excellent paper quality of these Joggles watercolor tags. So I'm gonna create the bulk of the book pages um, with the number 12 tag, and then there are alternate size tags, like here's a number eight tag, here's a small number five tag, and here's a medium number 10 tag. These pages, I can make some odd size pages and, and stitch them in or incorporate them into the book. Once I get the book created with the large tag, I can make some odd pages that I can put in between, or I can just make the book out of all one size tag. So you could make the whole book out of the number 12 tag, or if you wanted to go even smaller or tiny, you could make yourself a whole book, a little tiny mixed media journal um, in any number of these um, combinations of these tags. So I'm gonna go with the large um, number 12 tag, and I don't want it to be quite this wide, so I'm gonna take um, two inches off the end of it so that I can make the pages a little bit narrower. So I'm gonna be using my score buddy. Um, the links for all of the products are gonna be down below the video, down below the video. The score buddy is the really important tool to this whole process. It comes with a bone folder and it has ridges in it that allow you to put the bone folder down in the ridge and get a straight score crease for folding and creating the binding. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove two inches from the end of this tag so it's a little shorter. I wanna put the tag hole out because I, I love the fact that it's got the notched edges and, and the tag. So the binding is gonna be the straight edge. So I'm gonna take the score tool and go down at the two inch mark to shorten this tag so the book is a little bit shorter. And I'm gonna score that and then I'm gonna fold it on the score back and forth and then I can either cut with scissors along that line or I can tear it. And I'm just gonna tear it because it's pretty easy once you score it back and forth. So that's the size that I'm gonna go with for the bulk of the pages. So I'm gonna probably, um, depending on how many pages you want, if you wanna make this a small project with only a few pages and consider giving it as a gift at the holidays um, or um, any other time of year, or if you want to use it to give yourself a project when you're in a small space, traveling on an airplane, waiting in a doctor's office, you can make yourself a little tiny journal, um, watercolor mixed media journal. So keeping it small will mean that it's not so daunting that you can't get it finished or that it is gonna take you a year to put something on every page. So again, I'm taking two inches off the end of the number 12 large watercolor tag so I can shorten it a bit for the book. Scoring and then folding in both directions back and forth and tearing off the two inch and stacking them to the side. Now I'm going to create a seven eighth inch score line that will be the that will be the spine. Now the reason why I'm choosing seven eighths is because I've got double stick tape from Joggles 
um, that is five eighths. So a seven eighths score will allow me to run this tape right down the middle and not have to be completely accurate, but it'll fill up most of the space. So we're now going to score at seven eighths. And this is Joggle's Sticky Stuff Tape. Um, the link for that will also be below. All the, all the product links will be below. Sticky Stuff Tape, 5 eighths of an inch. Okay. So then you're going to score the 7 eighths and fold it up towards the top. And you're going to do that on all of the watercolor tags that we just trimmed. So 7 eighths. Score and fold up. This is what's going to create the binding. So the pages can flip and lay open flat in the book. Okay. So now we have a pile of the number 12 watercolor tags that we've removed two inches off the end. So they're shorter and they've all got the 7 eighths inch folded up edge. Okay, so what we're going to do is along that 7 eighths of an inch edge, we're going to take the Joggles Sticky Stuff double-sided tape, 5 eighths of an inch, find the end of it here, and we're going to run it right down the middle and then cut off the excess. Folding it back up, and then you're gonna tear or remove the top layer to expose the double stick of the tape. And then take the next tag and line this fold right up on to this one. So aligning it and now you have one spread and the tab of this one is where the next page will line up. So I'm going to again take the 5 eighths of an inch tape, run it right down the middle of the 7 eighths fold Trim off the excess. Expose the adhesive. Take the next page and line it up. As accurately as you can line it up is the better, because that's what will keep the book pages straight. But if you don't get it perfect, it's a handmade book and a handmade item, and it's okay if it's a little off kilter. I'm giving you that permission so that I can give myself that permission. So now we have three pages, and see how nicely they open flat so you can draw across the spread if you wanna create something that goes across the spread, which I really love doing in my watercolor books. A panoramic, if you will. And here's our last page, and this is going to be the cover. So because it's the cover, we're going to take off the tab on this page. Carefully remove the tab so that this can be the cover page and line up without a flap. So now 
We have a spine that's really gonna stay together well with the Joggles sticky stuff tape and book pages that are gonna lay open and flat very nicely with this beautiful watercolor, sturdy mixed media paper. So to add in some random shorter tag pages, if you would like to do that, and I thought it would be kind of fun, I've scored some of the smaller tags and I would like to put them in so that there are short pages mixed into the book. So in order to do that, I'm gonna take that same 7 8 inch flap, apply the tape, And I'm gonna just adhere it right into the same spine right there, wherever I want it to fall. Line it up. And add it in. So now I've also got a short page. And in the next one, I'd like to add a medium page. And I think I'll line this one up in the middle. So you can add in this way, once you build the book with one size, and it could be any one of these sizes, once you build the book completely with one size tag, this is how you will intersperse some uh, randomly shorter, smaller tags in the same process, but you wanna do them after you build the book with one size tag, a uniform book, and then add in the shorter pages. So this one, I'm gonna add it down at the bottom rather than lining it up in the middle. So now I've got a shorter page. And I'll add in another small page. I wonder if I could get two of those. Yeah, I could get two. So it'd be kind of fun to do that. So seven eighths. So I'll run this across both with a space in the middle. And line them up. So I'll put this one at the top. and this one right underneath it. And now I've added in two short pages. So it's kind of fun to add in some random size pages uh, if you are interested in that. Um, let's get uh, one of these size, because I don't think I've put one of those in yet. I'm gonna leave some double page spreads so I can paint across the spread. So I'm gonna leave several that don't have um, other tags incorporated. I think that's a good suggestion not to put a, a separate tag in the middle of every spread. Give yourself some spreads like this where you can paint across the whole thing. So there's a few of those here, several. I'll add this one to the back before the last page. And if you decided that you wanted more of the main size tags, we've already built the front, so there's no tab here, but you can take another one that's already um, hinged and add it to the back. So if you wanna add more pages, you just add them to the back. So here's the book with the random interspersed smaller tags. And then here I'm deciding, oh, I'd like to add another page. So I'm just going to add the same size as the bulk of the book and add it to the back. So if you decide you want more pages than you made your original book with, because you want to intersperse some more random size tags and you want it to be bigger, you're just gonna add your extra pages to the back. So that gives you flexibility to make your book bigger 
down the road. If you fill it all with art and you want to add some extra pages, you're just going to add that main size book page right to the back. So that is how you can make your own beautiful, sturdy, heavy duty mixed media journal with the pre-cut watercolor tags from joggles.com that come in a variety of fun sizes that hinge together in this process with the sticky stuff joggles tape. And here you have a great mixed media journal to keep you busy on a flight during the holidays or wherever you need to work on art, wherever you want to work on art in a small space. Happy Friday and thank you for being here. If you enjoyed this tutorial tidbit, consider supporting me on Patreon. Patreon is what helps to fund the YouTube tutorial tidbit videos, and it's where you can come to support your favorite working artists and enjoy full-length, in-depth tutorials that publish every single week. Patreon.com slash Elizabeth St. Hilaire.